Hello, hello. Thank you for joining me once again. Uh, my name is Chris Orozco, and today I'm going to talk to you about relationships, uh, specifically around relationships that you don't want. Um, how to get out of relationships that aren't working for you, and how to get into relationships that do. Uh, so first off, I want to ask you to take a look at a couple different things in your life. First off, you know, do you even have relationships in your life that don't seem to be quite working for you? Uh, that You know, the kind of relationships where you know the person isn't good for you, but you keep coming back to the relationship time and time again, no matter how many times you say you're not going to. Uh, or however many times you tell yourself it's not good for you. Uh, yeah, I think we all do to some degree. I know it's been a huge part of my life in the past. Uh, luckily, less so now than ever before. Um, but I've dealt with it a lot. And something that I keep continuing to learn the more and more I deal with this situation in my life is something that I'm going to share with you today. So I want you to take a look at, you know, who are you in these relationships? When you hang out with these people that you know aren't good for you, whether it's, you know, a friendship, a romantic relationship, a business relationship, anything like that, who do you get to be in these relationships? Um, and particularly, who do you get to be in these relationships that you don't really get to be anywhere else? You know, like, are you a shy, kind of quiet person, but being around these these people allows you to be courageous and confident and assertive? Or is it the opposite? Are you a really assertive, confident person, uh, almost maybe, you know, to a fault, and hanging out with a certain kind of person uh, allows you to be connected to your more sensitive, more emotional side, even your more caring side, but in a way that doesn't really quite work for you. So take a moment and just think about that. And, you know, if you can find something like that, then there's your answer. There's why you keep getting into these relationships. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about that. So what we end up doing is finding people to allow us to express the parts of ourselves that we haven't integrated into our personality. Because deep down, the thing every single human being wants on this planet is to express themselves fully. That's what we want more than anything in the world. And we will do some crazy shit to try and make that happen. We will cause a ruckus, we'll make a scene, we'll behave in ways that we don't want just to try to get attention, just to try to express ourselves. Just like relationships. If you meet someone and they are, let's say, you're, let's go with this example because this was me in my life. I was so shy, I was so held back in my life that when I met someone who was just so courageous, so confident that it rubbed off and it actually gave a little bit of that excess confidence to me that person became invaluable to me. I wanted to hang out with them no matter what it cost me, no matter how much it hurt me, no matter how much it wasn't good for me. I wanted to hang out with them because they allowed me, or so I thought, they gave me permission to be that confident, assertive version of myself. Or now that I'm a little bit more confident, what happens sometimes is I'll attract people into my life that are a little, you know, they're a little bit, not too emotional, but they're emotional without the strong ballast. And what that shows me is that, you know, I'm out of line. You know, my my emotional center isn't really that strong. I'm more identifying with my with my assertive side. And so that's what the really is to take a look at here is who do you get to be in these relationships that you don't get to be outside? How can you integrate that in your own life? How can you begin to take ownership of that part of yourself so that you don't need to find these unhealthy ways to express them in your life? That's really all it comes down to. If you want to talk more about it, please reach out. There's going to be a link right below where you can click, get directly to me, and I'd be happy to talk to you about anything in this video or any of my previous videos. I hope this helps. Uh, I really, really, really want to acknowledge you for even taking a look at how you can take ownership over your life and make it the best experience possible for you. I love you. I'll see you next time. Take care.